very good evening dear friends <clears throat> in today's session we will learn about <clears throat> the penalties which may be levied under the securities contracts regulation act in fact uh, this is a very intricate subject the penalties are very high and then only the securities appellate tribunal sat can in fact uh, uh, interfere and then uh, resolve the disputes so the stock exchanges have to be and the clearing corporations the institutions have to be extremely careful over these things where there is non compliance the consequences would be very dire so in this regard i draw your attention to sections 23 to 23 capital k of the securities contracts regulation act these provisions contain various provision in fact in the, these provisions contain the necessary in fact sub, in, information on the penalties the penalties are as i told you very severe under this enactment and they would be termed as economic offenses also if the trial takes place one is fine another is trial criminal cases in court of economic offense now we'll start off from section 23 our discussion where under section 23 if any person violates the provisions of section 6 that is to file periodical returns and furnish such information as required by central government or enters into any contract in contravention of the provisions contained under section 13 relating to the declaration of the government that contracts in such a notified areas are illegal or violation under section 16 which relates to the powers of central government to prohibit contracts in certain areas or contravenes the provisions contained in section 17 relating to licensing of dealers in security in certain areas or section 17a relating to public issue and listing of securities pertaining to any certificate or instrument as stated under sub clause i e of clause h of section 2 of the securities contracts regulation act or further under section 19 relating to the prohibition of working of stock exchanges other than recognized stock exchanges or enters into any contracts in derivative in contravention of section 18a or the rules made there under section 30 of the securities contracts regulation act or comes under violation specified under clauses e2 i of subsection 1 to section 23 then the person is liable for punishment with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 10 years or with fine which may extend to 25 crores of rupees 25 crores of rupees or with both fine is not paid then imprisonment will be extended so this is one aspect now the second point for contravention of the provisions contained in sections 15 21 21a or section 22 the punishment is similar as stated before 10 years up to 10 years imprisonment or fine which may extend to 25 rupee crores of rupees or with both then the third point for failure to furnish information returns under section 23a or failure to enter into an agreement with clients under section 23b or for failure to redress investors grievances under section 23c the penalty is 1 lakh rupees for each day during which such failure continues or rupees 1 crore whichever is less for each such failure then friends for failure to segregate securities or monies of clients under section 23d the penalty is not exceeding 1 crore rupees for failure to comply with the listing conditions or delisting conditions under section 23e or for an act of excess dematerialization or delivery of unlisted securities under section 25f or failure to furnish periodical returns under section 23g the penalty may be extended up to 25 crores of rupees where friends there is no separate penalty provided for any such violation as may be committed 
then it's a general provision under section 23h the penalty is up to 1 crore of rupees then friends the saga does not stop here it goes further that section 23i empowers the securities and exchange board of india to appoint any officer not below the rank of a divisional chief of the sebi to be an adjudicating officer in this case for holding an inquiry in the prescribed manner and after giving any person concerned a reasonable opportunity of being heard for the purpose of imposing any penalty in respect of the aforementioned penal provisions, the adjudicating officer will adjudicate the matter and then give his appropriate decision. The adjudicating officers, of course, are supposed to take into account the factors enumerated under Section 23J while deciding the matter. Then under Section 23K, all the penalties realized shall be credited to the Consolidated Fund of the India. Then under Section 23M, if no punishment is provided for any violation under the Act, the punishment could be with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 10 years or with fine which may extend to 25 crores or with both. This is the general provision again. And if the penalty imposed is not paid or the directions or orders of the adjudicating officer are not complied with, then the punishment is with imprisonment for each term which shall not be less than one month but which may extend to 10 years or with fine which may extend to 25 crores of rupees or with both. Then lastly, Section 23N, the, in fact, a tribunal or a court can compound the punishment. Tribunal means the security supplied tribunal. And then that power is vested with only the court or the tribunal as the case may be. So with this background, we conclude our discussion on the penalties under the Securities Contracts Regulation Act. In the next session, we will deal with the Securities Appellate Tribunal. This subject comes in SEBI, SECRA and depositories. So we had to elaborately deal with the subject. And each enactment has provided, but the channel is same, that is the Securities Appellate Tribunal as it is established. In fact, uh, under subsection 1 of section 15K of the Securities uh, and Exchange Board of India Act 1992. So I will deal with this, of course, elaborately in our next session. Thank you, dear friends. Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you.